Hi guys, this is a quick video to answer some questions I've seen in some of my Fallout videos and probably are applicable to all games or anyone who's using the Nexus Mod Manager. Um, every now and again when you go along and download with Manager you end up getting a little message at the bottom of your download, download manager saying something like, along the lines of file not available or no such file etc. Um, and it does seem to recur relatively frequently at the moment. I think that's with some of the changes. Um, it's very true when a file is new. If you get that um, and you're not sure what to do, believe it or not, the easiest thing to do is to simply download manually and hopefully the file will download to wherever you normally download. Um, I've set mine for my, uh, my desktop. If for some reason you go to... I'm going to find a mod that is slightly larger. Okay, Cinematech, that's enormous. And you go along to download manually and, um, and you pick one of these and you get file not exists. Click it again and pick a different mirror. Sometimes some mirrors work for me, some don't. So which, whichever you've picked last time, if it didn't work, pick another. But if you, if you don't get this option, it's usually on small files and it will just basically pick whichever mirror it wants to for you. Um, so that should always download. But ordinarily, download manually works even if you're having trouble with the downloaded manager. And then if you're not sure what to do, um, but it's actually very, very simple. You go along to the Mods tab and you go to Add Mod from File. And then you find out, you find the mod you've just downloaded, which for me was iHood. And click Open. And it will then... Now, in this case, it's detecting. I've got an existing one. But you see what you see how to do it. You just basically do that, and it will create a new package for you in your mods. It's dead simple. So that's what to do if the download with manager button stops working. Okay? Well, I hope that helped.